In this video, we're going to get started on the front seat. Here's one I've prepared earlier. Okay, I'll just talk you through some of the um, parts I've got for the front seat. So obviously, the, here's the vinyl here. Um, the base is just tucked inside there at the moment. Um, there's the part number there. So Newton Commercial make this design to specifically sit, fit the shape of the Australian seat. Um, so as of, like when the Mini was first introduced into Australia, it was um, brought over as just a complete product from the UK, but eventually we started doing our own interior over here just to cut down costs um, some of the other parts I've got here that's the um, the rubber base they got the clips on there um, they need to be put on each of these um, edges but I'll show you that later um, these straps here are rubber straps that go on the back of the seat or the squab um, and instead of using foam to cover go on the squab or the back of the seat it uses this um, rubberized um, horse hair and I'll just swing around and show you the part number so that is the rubberized um, horse hair that comes with this um, soft cotton sort of material and that sort of goes around the edge just to make it a bit softer. Um, this piece here goes around the, the, the base of the seat along the, like the front edge just to help soften it a bit. I really don't think you, you need that and if you wanted to save um, some money you, there's other alternatives but it was, it was like I think it was about $30 Australian for the pair, for one for each side, but there are there are cheaper alternatives considering you don't see that. Um, and here's the actual foam base. I'll just bring you the part number. Ah, uh, there it is there. Um, and it's like a high density foam, so it's nice and thick. Uh, the other thing it comes with is this piece here. Depending on the um, style of seat you have, you may need to use that along the front edge. But I actually found out a a better idea where to use that, and I'll show you when we put it all together um, so because this um this style of seat doesn't really have the front section here humped up okay so let's go and look at the frame okay so the frame of the seat has been sorted out so that's been um uh, cleaned up um if you you want a hint to get rid of the foam on here um i use um paint stripper and then one, you pull as much foam off as you can, then paint it with paint stripper, and that sort of gets loosens up the glue, takes it all down. Uh, I wire brushed it, and then um, gave it a good coat of paint, um, or a couple of coats of paint. So the next thing I need to do is just um, the seat adjuster, just get that um, spring and uh, pin put back together. Uh, the other thing I, I've, I've only got one of these. These are the actual um, piece that go over here to adjust it so I might that might be the next thing I need to try and 3d print Alright, so the next thing we need to do now is move the 
this um, base rubber, we need to get these clips on there. So the way this sits in the car, uh, it, that side faces up and the, the lumpier side sort of faces down. But I'll just keep it this way just for now to make things a bit easier. Now these clips, the way you need to get these on, and I'll just explain how it looks when it's clipped in there. So when that is put in there, it comes out like that. So the hook part can sort of clip onto the frame. And the way to get that in there, you need to go in from this side. So the open end, hook the open end in there. And it's going to poke out the other side. It'll um, make its own hole. There it goes. It pokes out and then just thread it all the way through and if you want you can use something to sort of just pull it through to make it nice and in the right position probably a pair of pliers will be better all right so that's it so that's how it will look okay so that's that's what it will look like when it's finished Right, the next thing now, we need to get this fitted onto the actual seat base. Okay, so let's get started on the, um, the base. So you'll notice that one side, obviously there are three hooks, the other side there are two. So it needs to go this way around. Um, I would recommend clipping in the, the back first. And I'll explain in a moment. So those two just clip in. Now, in order to get this on, you need to you need to stretch it a fair bit. Let's get you to stay in there. And what I actually came up with was this tool here. All it is is just a piece of coat hanger wire with a hook on the end, wrapped around a bit of wood. And what I need to do is just hook that on there, pull on it, and I'll be able to get it into that hole. Next part now we're going to do the, the back or the squab of the seat and these are the rubber straps that need to go on there. Now they are actually all different sizes. So let me just talk you through them and they are actually numbered so that's number one. Uh, let's see. That's number two. Three. That's four. And you'll notice the last two, they're both number five because these are the ones that go in that direction. So again with these straps, um, I needed to make up a tool. I sort of did this one, I can't remember, I might have ended up just using that one on the other seat which I've done already. But I'll have a play because I think this one does the job. pieces which are labeled number five they need to go from the top to the bottom and it's probably going to be easier to get the bottom in first because of the shape of that part there and the way they need to go obviously that 
that is the view you should be looking at from the back here. That bit face, so it faces forward. And the bottom ones clip into here. So let's get that in first. And it runs, doesn't run on this side, it runs on this side. So that goes here, and then that will clip in up at the top. So again, it might be easier to lay it down. sitting in there so that's okay some spots I've sort of uh, scratched it a bit but we're not going to see that um, so that's how that sits just make sure just double check everything is all clipped in properly because if it pulls out at a later stage it's gonna ruin your day but it seems like it's all holding like it's not just going to pop out it's in there nicely okay so the next thing I need to do now is get this piece of um foam that goes around this section here so it sort of starts here wraps around the front and around the other side um, I'm going to use the contact adhesive again so I will paint some of it on the body paint it on that and then stick it on but just to show you which way it goes uh, open it out a bit and I can see so the bottom edge is completely level the top edge it tapers up and this section and then tapers back down so that is the way it needs to go upright so that's um, that's the edge and this bit is the front so the way I'm going to stick it on this bottom edge here will be level with the actual frame of the seat and then uh, so if that goes like that of course there's going to be some sticking up but you'll see what I do once I get the foam put on because you want that to sort of be level and the foam sort of sits here. So the bottom edge goes level with the frame. The next thing we're going to do now is the foam base. So I've talked about this bit already. Um, so depending on the style of seat you have, you may need to glue that on first. Um, if the vinyl has that one sort of section here and then the stripes begin there. So it depends on what seat. But for the one I've got, I'm not going to use that bit there. So I'll just put that away for now. And what I want to do is I actually want to glue this foam it's got to be glued to the edge on the inside here around the edge and also a bit onto here too but that can be done afterwards I think and then also you want the foam to be this does not don't cover the entire thing with glue that's probably not necessary just a few bits in the middle just so the foam sits gets stuck to that um, just in in the initial stages where until like t until it's been used a bit it'll eventually squash it get into the right shape but it's just so it sits on there because if you don't do that it sort of leaves a bit of a gap and we don't want that gap because it makes the whole like seat look like it's all like mounded up uh, we want it to sort of sit level so I'm going to add some adhesive into around the edge a little bit in the middle a bit on that, that edge too and then get the piece of foam in there the other thing you'll notice that obviously the size of the foam is slightly larger than this hole um, and that's why you want, need to glue it because you need to sort of push it in and make sure the edges get stuck down to that bit. Um, so the back edges have curved, you'll notice there's a curve edge there that fits in nicely into this gap just there and then the front sections 
uh, have a nice circular curve on them and obviously that fits into there. Okay, so let's get this stuck down. This um, cotton type material, that came with this, but I will leave that for now, move that to the side, I'm not going to use that just yet, and we're going to just focus on getting the back done. So the way this needs to be put on is similar way to the foam, I'm going to just put glue around the edge of the frame, um, and then it, it's contact adhesive, so you've got to put it on both parts, and then onto this piece. And what I want to do is just glue it on, just so it's flat first. Um, that piece of foam I've added in there and the reason why I'm I actually have quite a few back problems so I need that extra lumbar support and um, if I've saved one um, I'll just flip back to a uh, camera picture of how the previous seat looked so on the previous seat you had a bit of um, foam sort of in that section and it's just so much more comfortable having that on there just to give you that bit of lumbar support. Um, so it's, yeah, making use of it, because otherwise, if you're going to use it there, use it there, then try and get another piece of foam, but that's fine. So I just need to leave it now, just to let that glue um, completely dry up. Um, this bit where it's not sort of fully sticking around, don't worry too much about that, that's okay. Because um, you'll see what we do with the, um, the cotton material. So I'm just going to let this sit for about an hour or so then I will come back to it. Okay, the next thing on the list is to put this um, this cotton padding on the seat and the way it goes on, it pretty much just sits around the edge of it <coughs> just to um, soften the edges on there. So I'll lay it on there how it's meant to go and then there's another trick we need to do as well. So that's pretty much it. You lay it over the edges like that. Now, um, the next thing we need to do is we can get the cover on, but we can probably should have done the base first. Um, but that is okay. I'll yeah. So I'll sit. I'll fit the base cover on first. The other trick is with the top. Um, a lot of websites say I just use use a plastic bag like this just to cover the seat, so you can slide the vinyl on a lot better. I found that if you, if you use something like a plastic bag like this, every time you sit on the seat, you're going to hear this um, rattling noise. So we don't want that. So the other trick, what I'm going to use is um, just um, this plastic wrap, um, cling film, cling wrap, glad wrap, whatever you call it. Um, just the, It's the plastic wrap that you cover like food containers and stuff with. Because it's very um, thin 
it's not crinkly and it's still um, strong enough to hold all of this um, down. So I might put the plastic on now and then we'll fit the base vinyl on and see how that goes. Okay, so here's the actual um, the piece that goes on the base. Let's give you a quick look at that. Uh, so, depending on the seat design, you might have to do things different, but um, I'm gonna put a bit of um, glue on here as well, and on the inside of here, just so when it sits on there, it doesn't sort of um, bulge up like that because it doesn't sit flat on there. So that's one thing I'll do. The other thing I need to do on this flap here, you need to make a slit along here and another slit along there. So you cut along here, but don't go too close to that edge here. And the reason why is because you need to get past, now I'll just try and find the springs, here we go. Um, the springs, or the, the part on the rubber base, these points here, so when, I'm just sticking my finger through where that vinyl will go, it's gonna go there, and it's gonna go and then stick through this gap down there. And then you need to have slits on it, so it will be three pieces that come down and get um, clipped onto this bottom bar. So I'm just going to do a test fit first. Alright, so there we go. Alright, we just need to get this um, put in the car now. Okay, so the passenger seat is fitted in now. Let's just have a look. Uh, that's not looking too bad at all. So that's pretty much it now. So everything's in. So that's how it looks. Surprisingly, it doesn't have a new car smell. It just smells like that glue. All right, 
I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching my videos. Please um, subscribe, even though we're pretty much done now, there's still gonna be a few different things I'm gonna do on this project. Um, the next one is putting a taco in. Um, that's I bought that, I just need to wait for it to come. But there's gonna be other things along the line. So I'll leave it there, and thank you for watching my videos.